Gifted teacher. She's colorful. Purposeful. Unstoppable force. She's courageous. A true leader. An incredibly devoted advocate. And what we see time and time and time again, civil war does not start with a bullet, it starts with the psychological shift in people's thoughts. I really want student engagement. I want them to um, be thinking. I tell my students on the first day of class, I'm not here to teach you what to think about politics. I'm here to teach you how to think about politics. I want to hone your critical thinking skills. I want them to be advocates for themselves and their families and their communities. I want them to run for office. Um, but most of all, I want them to be informed voters. I think to describe Jody, the first thing that comes to mind is just a fierce advocate for students. She really puts herself in her students' shoes and she takes a walk in them and she helps us see ourselves in a way that we would have never imagined. She believes in our possibilities before we believe in our own. When you meet Jody, you kind of realize that she believes in you. Uh, she, and she does that for every student, so it's weird meeting other students, like former students for her, and I'm like, oh, you guys have the same special relationship that I have with Jody. She spends like just late night hours, like she's there for you no matter what. She's just always dedicating herself constantly to everyone else. From the student government to the honors program to just her classes, she is one of those professors that you're see, you see everywhere on campus. She's in every room, she's in every building. She's just always around. And I think that really speaks to her dedication to the school. Ninth Amendment says any civil liberty we didn't protect goes here. It's a little odd, but go. What did the Tenth Amendment try to do? I love teaching government. It's a required course, so I get a lot of um, reluctant students. And I love them. They are my favorite. I feel like I have four months to convince them that I'm right and they're wrong, that politics is important and that government is important for them to be engaged in. And we talk a lot about you know, all the quotes of Shirley Chisholm saying that if you don't have a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. She's not just teaching us facts of the matter of how the government functions, she's teach, teaching us how to participate in how the government functions, and that made the biggest difference. She invites uh, guest speakers. Uh, every week there was somebody new, so we had Josh Newman speak to us, which is you know a big name in politics in California, uh, and multiple other people who were involved in local politics. But when you have a state senator in the classroom saying, okay, well, this is what I do, that is a chance that I think not a lot of people get. And that has also allowed the local officials to see how incredibly motivated and engaged our local students are. And so they get hired and they are volunteers and they are campaign managers and that leads to more opportunities. I would rather you participate than remain silent. So let's start with some easy stuff. Jody really truly wants our students to have those opportunities that are hard to come by. She has this incredible network where students stay in touch with her, where she stays in touch with them. I like to think of myself as a connector. It is what I am, you know, I, I love that part of my job of being able to connect people and say, oh, you want to do this, here are the people you should talk to. Every time that I've told her that I wanted to do something, she has always given me an action plan to do it. In the next five minutes, I have an email, which I'm CC'd to, like, hey, my student Ruiz wants to talk to you. And that is something that I have never seen anywhere. I don't know if I will ever see that again, uh, but Professor Balma has truly provided me with so many opportunities. Jody was among the first people that I told, hey, I got accepted into Columbia University. She was like, wow, you have to go. And that wasn't even a thought in my mind. I was like, what do you mean I have to go? Like, I, I don't know how. And so she helped connect me to all these different people. She helped me make that possible for myself. I experienced homelessness. She took a, a place of a parent that I needed during that time, and she provided me the resources that I need. In a span of two semesters, she has grown closer to me than most of my professors or teachers have ever had. I just wrote a letter of recommendation for an alum. He you know, was very grateful and thankful and said, how do I pay you back? And I said, you don't, you pay it forward. And I will call and I will ask for that favor back, but it won't be for me. It will be for a future student. And I think that makes them feel really good to be needed and to be a resource and to be part of this growing village of connections. And it's what 
I think community college does best is to provide a community.